Hello friends, myself Milek Bral. Today the job opening we are discussing is Kanta's direct entry second officer profile. So as a second officer, you will perform an essential role as a part of the Kanta's operating crew on their long haul services. Okay, so their second uh, uh, staff officer are trained at one of the world's most respected and professional flight training establishments. And as a second officer, you will form a part of a team dedicated to ensure the safe operation of aircraft, delivering premium customer service and upholding Kanta's core professional values. So what are the minimum requirements? So uh, an Australian ATPL or Australian CPL with all ATPL subjects is required. And there are some minimum hours requirements like 500 hours in command of powered fixed doing airplane, 300 hours in command of a multi-engine airplane, 250 hours uh, in command of powered fixed wing air, uh, airplane, 250 hours of flight time in a powered fixed wing airplane as pilot in command, and a uh, part of 61 multi-engine airplane class instrument rating, and endorsements for uh, lab 2D and lab 3D on Australian instrument rating, a current instrument proficiency check and uh, Australian citizenship or whole Australian permanent residency status and a current passport with unrestricted access to all Kanta sports of call with at least 12 months of validity. Okay, And a current CASA class 1 medical certificate is required and English lef uh, level of proficiency uh, should be great. Okay and 200 hours total time of flight and 500 hours of multi-engine and multi crew experience they required so uh, the current positions they are proud to uh, represent regional australia as be a part of its community okay so as a uh, the ongoing training they provide the highest standard highly regarded uh, in the aviation industry regarded in the aviation industry designed to ensure uh, the safety record is maintained while developing their crew to uh, their full potential okay so although there is a large company and they are one uh, of the big family in australia so every pilot becomes a part of their loyal neat team uh, and uh, vision and vision of the company okay so there are uh, some uh, minimum requirements for a direct entry first officer is that the same current casa class 1 aviation medical certificate and the uh, same uh, australian citizenship or uh, residency status and be willing and able to pass drug and alcohol testing and the ability to hold an aviation security identification card and hold a current passport with unrestricted access to all countries kantas operates to with at least 12 months of validity okay? so yeah that's all for today if you want more updates please follow our channel thank you